Hi, in this video I'll show you how to configure rerouting protocol on Cisco routers. The topology is shown here, just two routers. At the moment there is no configuration done on these routers apart from assigning the uh, IP addresses to the interfaces shown. Okay, I'll check on router R1. So you can see only IP addresses assigned on FA01 and loopback interface. FA01 is this interface here and loopback. The loopback address, um, uh, IP address, we're using this to simulate a network 192.168.1.0 connected to R1. And um, we can check routing table. And router knows only about two networks. 192.168.1.0 and 2.0 here and they both are directly connected C means connected routes and there is no routing configured at the moment we can check so at the protocols there is nothing here so router R1 is just a blank at the moment I'll go to router R2 and do the same IP address is configured on FA00 and loopback1. This interface here and loopback similar, same here. This loopback interface is used to simulate a 192.168.3.0 network connected to R2. And R2 also knows only about two directly connected networks. There's no routing configured on R2 either. Now I'll go back to R1. Before we do configuration, uh, routing protocol rip configuration, uh, we will check if R1 can if R1 can ping this uh, loopback interface. It won't be able to ping because at the moment in the routing entry. Uh, router R1 doesn't know how to get to 192.163.0 network. It only knows about these two networks. So, similarly, if we go to R2, it won't be able to ping this interface here. Yep. Now let's configure RIP on R1. Router RIP. We've got a version option here, 1 or 2. At the moment we'll configure version 1. So we can type version 1 or leave it and by default it's version 1. Now we need to type network command. 1.0 and 2.0. This network command does two things. First thing is um, it will allow RIP to advertise 192.168.1.0 uh, network to the um, other routers and the other thing is it will find out all the interfaces that belong to this network and send the updates through those interfaces. Similarly this network command does. So the RIP configuration is done on R1. Let's go to R2. We do the same router rib network two dot zero and three dot zero. Now we do so IP route and it has learned a new route to reach network 192.168.1.0 which is connected to R1 and it's learned via RIP R refers to RIP and uh, 120 is the administrative distance which compares this uh, route with other routes learned from other routing protocols and this one is the metric which is in case of RIP hop count so this tells this network is just one hop away from R2 which is from R2 one hop that's all good so similarly we go to R1 to see its routing table yep R1 has also learned 192.168.3.0 network 
which is here so it's pretty good let's try the theme now 3.1 and it can ping similarly r2 will be able to ping 192.168.1.1 all good now a quick way to now now so the configuration has done now i'm doing some verification command you can go to um, you can do so ip protocols to see the routing information it tells the um, routing protocol is rip sending version one and receiving both version one and two and then um, these are the networks it's routing advertising for and just to quickly check the uh, routing configuration configuration you can do so running configuration and then pipe it with uh, section router it will just filter the output with the routing configuration so route, routing protocol is rip and uh, these are the two networks it's advertising that's the basic configuration of rip thanks for watching